because he's heading out to Barcelona to do kiddies and to teach songs and do all sorts of things there uh, to all the Catalans. But he's here tonight and give us a couple of songs. He's also a great fan of American Roots music and he loves all kinds of, uh, of music. He'll probably give us a lot of flavour of uh, that ilk from that corner of the world. So please welcome David Milanco. <laughs> Thanks very much. Um, so I'm going to sing you two songs. This, uh, there's different versions of this one, but this is a version I heard Bruce Molsky. I don't know if you've been following the Transatlantic Sessions. Uh, one of the American fiddlers, you'll see Bruce Molsky singing this, and he sings and plays at the same time. And this is a version that I've heard him sing. It's called Peg and All. Uh, are there any experts in the history of shoemaking? in America in tonight. No, yes, maybe, maybe. Uh, I just had a, had a look on the internet beforehand, and the, it's, it's set in 1800, one, two, three, and four. It makes it easy to remember the next, the next verse, certainly. Um, but apparently, the machines that came in that put lots of people out of jobs were actually invented a little bit later, but for the sake of the song. It's 1800, so here we go. Peg and all, feel free to join in. In 1801, peg and all. In 1801, peg and all. In 1801, pegging shoes is all I done. I'm gonna lay me down my all, my peg and all. In 1802, peg and all. In 1802, peg and all. In 1802, peg and shoes is all I do. I'm gonna lay me down my all my peg and all. In 1803, peg it all. In 1803, peg it all. In 1803, peg in shoes is all you'd see. I'm gonna lay me down my all my peg all. They've invented a new machine, peg and all. They've invented a new machine, peg and all. They've invented a new machine, I peg one shoe, it pegs fifteen. I'm gonna lay me down my all, my peg and all. In 1804, peg and all. In 1804, peg and all. In 1804, peg and shoes I'll do no more. I'm gonna lay me down my all, my peg. with a song by Towns Van Zandt. I have to apologise because I have a, an Edinburgh accent. I have to apologise for having an Edinburgh accent, but uh, I'm, I'm a bit of a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a new turn. It's a bit of a Harriet, so I don't know. But, um, uh, I seem to be a bit of a, oh, we've got some Watsonians. Got some, anyway, it doesn't really matter. I went to primary school at London Street School. And I went to, anyway, right. And, um, Yes, but I seem to be a bit of a parrot when it comes to songs, so if I hear it here in American so I like I like Scottish folk music and, and, and lots of different kinds of music, but uh, if I hear something with an American accent, it tends to come out that way. Uh, and I'm not that much of a fan of people who sing with an American accent if, if they're not actually American, you know, but there you go. So I'll sort of try and get somewhere halfway in between. Uh, this song is called uh, If I Needed You, and it's by Tans Van Zandt. If I needed you, would you come to me? Would you come to me, love, and ease my pain? 
If you needed me, I would come to you. I'd swim the seas for to ease your pain. In the night forlorn, ah, the morning's born, and the morning shines with the lights of love. You will miss sunrise if you close your eyes. That would break my heart in two. Ladies with me now, since I showed her how to lay her lily hand in mine. Loop and Lil agree, she's a sight to see, the treasure for the poor to find. If you needed me, I would come to you. I'd swim the seas for to ease your pain. I'd swim the seas for to ease your pain.